Hey everyone, what is up? What's up? Aren't you happy to see me? Today was a pretty, pretty chill day. I had about I had two classes. One of them was a lecture and the other one was a recitation course. For those of you guys who haven't watched my other videos, recitation is basically a class where you implement what you learned in lecture in smaller groups with questions. Yeah, I had recitation. That was my last class of the day. We had elections for PSLC and PSLC is the Pharmacy Student Leadership Council in our school. So you know how in general school, they have the SGA. PSLC is basically the the SGA of our pharmacy program. It was on Zoom. We didn't vote. We vote tomorrow. I think they will send us an email linking to the voting polls. But um, we we got to see who the candidates were and what they had to offer for our school for our program. And I think I know who I want to vote for. I also like being very involved in the process of voting someone in like I like to see who our candidates are I like to see what they have to say how they plan on handling certain situations that are going on within the program and I think you all should really be involved in that because some people like to run for positions just for their resume or just for their CV they don't actually care about what they plan on doing for students within the program so if you're watching this be involved be involved another thing that happened this week was that our class was informed on the status of our IPI summer rotations for those of you guys who don't know IPI stands for introductory pharmacy practice experience so due to coronavirus due to COVID-19 some pharmacies are unable to continue on with the IPI rotation program because they're not sure if it's safe to host students within their pharmacy because you know they can contract the disease because of that that kind of pushed back the placement process for our school our school has to now go back and look at which pharmacies are still available for students to work at this summer back in march we actually chose what sites we wanted like we made our preference as to what sites we wanted based off what was available now we were told that we have to do that all over again because some of the pharmacies that we chose are probably out of the system i'm sad because I strategized which pharmacies I chose. Some of them are closer to home. Some of them I already know where they're at, so it's easy for me to go there because I don't drive. So I already know what buses to take, what trains to take. So now I have to do that all over again. Yeah, I actually didn't check. I actually didn't check if my preferences are still up. So I'm about to go do that. So let's see what happens. Wish me luck. So this email says that our Pharmacy 400 IPI site selections are now open for summer 2020 and I'm about to go check. They actually just reopened this because we did this back in March, so they need to stop. Um, yeah, and also in order to be included in the lottery, you have to make sure you fulfill all your requirements such as immunizations. You guys already saw me do that in one of my vlogs, so I don't have to worry about that. These selections were closed on April 26, 2020. It's April 21st, I think, April 22nd. This is the site that we used to place our preferences. It's called Core Higher Education Group or Core ELMS. That's what we call it in our school. I need to place in my username and my password to see what's up, so let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, everything is still here. I am so happy. I am set, <laughs> logging out. Do we see how God works? I see it. I see it. Now that that's done, I think that's gonna be it for today. So, peace! To the candidates, you guys did an amazing job. And they actually so did. I'm actually kind of scared we'll to see who won and if it's the person that I voted for. So, we'll see. 10 to 15 minutes. We do give bias! Earlier than that. Half class. Now I have to jump into my recitation course. You see, we already started. So I actually have to show my face. I can't be on camera, clearly. Right. I'll see you guys later. has it been since I've been outside? Huh? How long has it been since I've been outside? You? Oh, yeah. yeah. A long time. Because you don't want to go out. Yes, because I'm scared. Everybody they said to stay in your house. Yeah, stay okay. in your house, guys.
So I'm back home from the African market. It's been weeks since I left the house. Really, like three weeks. Jesus! Two weeks. Jesus! And it's actually not. changed out there. You actually have to keep your distance from people. They have a sign that says, make sure you wear a mask and gloves. So if you don't have that, you're not coming in. You have to keep your distance from people. Make sure you're six feet away. When you leave the house, carry a glove, a mask, some hand sanitizer. I didn't carry hand sanitizer, but my mom kept some in the car, so I was lucky. Now that I'm home, I think I actually have a quiz on Monday, so I should go check up on Blackboard on what's posted about that. But guess what? You made it this far. Remain safe, remain blessed, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.